So for today's video, um, so I keep on getting questions about um, who's going to pay yung shipping fee or how will be the shipping fee paid or will will I pay the courier once na they arrive here at home. So paano ba? So paano ba yung boom process talaga ng shipping? Hi guys, this is Pat and you're in Pat Quintos Review TV. So, if you're new here on my channel, I do reviews about Smart Padala, Paymaya, True Money, Shopee, and Computer Shop na ginawa ko na ng playlist na makikita nyo dito sa taas. And actually, hindi lang naman yun yung mga nire-review ko. Meron na rin Gcash, Coins, um, and other stuff na makakatulong din naman sa inyo. So, if you're new here on my channel, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel. So, for today's video, um, so, I keep on getting questions about um, who's going to pay yung shipping fee or how will be the shipping fee paid or will will I pay the courier once na they arrive here at home. So, paano ba? So, paano ba yung boom process talaga ng shipping? Though, do in-explain ko na on how you can get the pouches, and basically the whole process of shipping your item. Pero let's discuss in more detail yung mga questions nyo. So, sige, let's start with who will pay the shipping fee. So, makikita nyo naman sa Shopee na uh, meron doon na shipping fee, di ba? Like, kunyan, 50 peso shipping fee. Uh, or, if you did not meet the requirement na free shipping, then ito yung shipping, ito yung amount na kailangan bayaran. So, ganun siya. Si buyer ang sumasagot ng shipping cost dun sa item na binili niya. Um, as a seller, um, your responsibility lang talaga is to make sure that you pack your orders properly and um, send it to the, uh, give it to the courier during the day na sinet mo to, for them to pick up. So basically, yun talaga yung ano, uh, process. Ngayon, so, the next question is, um, so, we know na the buyer will pay the shipping fee, but kailan babayaran? So, babayaran yung shipping fee kung COD yan. So, syempre, pag na-deliver na yung item kay buyer, dun lang magbabayad si buyer ng amount ng item mo as for you as a seller, and then yung shipping cost. So, dun niya babayaran mismo kay courier. So, let's say 100 pesos yung item ko, and then the shipping fee is 60 pesos. So, si buyer, si buyer magbabayad ng around 160 pesos kay courier. So, what happens na once na magbayad na si buyer ng 160 pesos? So, mag update ni courier yung Shopee status to delivered. Tapos, magkakaroon ng button na ganyan na order receive and kapag pinik yan ni buyer, automatic naman na yung shipping co shipping cost or shipping fee na binayaran niya and at the same time, yung bayad sa item mo is mapupunta agad sa iyo and sa courier. Question is, so ano, pupunta dito yung courier tapos wala naman akong ibibigay, item lang ibibigay ko? Yes. So, when you schedule um, your item to be picked up by the courier, so pupunta si courier sa bahay mo and then bibigyan ka ng pouches or ng pouch plus way bill. Way bill yan yung sticker na nilalagay dun sa pouch. Nakatulad yan. Yan. And then, um, once na na properly sealed mo na yung item mo sa pouch, and nalagay mo na yung sticker dun sa pouch, then ibibigay mo na yan kay courier na wala kang ilalabas na fee. Ito na lang. Unless, otherwise, dun sa advertised item mo, ang nakalagay dun is seller will shoulder the shipping cost. Siyempre, as a seller, hindi naman natin gagawin yon since si buyer talaga. Pero, if ever na may ganung case, ang mangyayari, ikaw yung magbabayad ng shipping fee dun sa courier. Pero, let's talk about it on a separate video kasi hindi naman talaga yun yung usual na nangyayari. Sa COD talaga, si buyer talaga ang, or usually talaga, si buyer talaga ang nag-shoulder ng cost ng shipping fee. Okay, so, di ba, uh, bagong seller ka, so, natatakot ka maglabas ng, kunyari, ang item mo is worth 500 pesos. 
as a new seller na natakot kang natatakot ka na ibigay na lang basta yung yung item mo nang hindi mo kagad nakukuha yung bayad, di ba? Parang parang bakit ako magtitiwala? Ano ano yung assurance? 'Yon. So, eto 'yon, guys. Um, when you um, send yung item nyo for delivery. So, pag kinuha na ng courier 'yan, um, hindi naman siya hindi ko masasabing insured. Pero merong responsibility si courier and si Shopee to process the item correctly. So, na, nangyari na rin sa akin yun na ilang item ko ang nawala or nasira. So, ano naman yun eh? On a case-to-case -case basis, kailangan mag-provide ka like ng um, resibo, ng picture. So, as long as na meron kang order ID, yun. So, madi-dispute mo naman yun. Pwede mo siyang erase kay Shopee, itawag kay Shopee. Tapos, i-coordinate ni Shopee yun sa courier. Pero ako, ang, ginagawa, ang ginawa ko dati, nung nawala na ako ng mga item na binibenta, nawala ng courier. So, kinontak si Shopee at, and at the same time, kinontak si courier para mas mapabilis. So, yun nga, sabi ko, kahit naman mawala yung item, uh, may responsibility si courier at si Shopee na bayaran ka. Yes, babayaran ka or ang tawag, dun, ang tawag nila doon is compensation. So, i-compensate ka nila dun sa item na nawala nila. Question, full amount ba or reduced amount? Yes, full amount kung magkano yung beta mo. Siyempre, less na lang din dun yung um, transaction fee. So, parang normal normal na nag-go through yung transaction. Pero hindi nga lang si buyer ang bumili. Um, si courier ang nagbayad nun. Okay, so sana... Sana matanggal nyo yung stigma doon na natatakot kayo mag-ship out ng item. Kasi nga, uh, meron naman din kahit pa paano assurance na may babalik sa yung yung perang nilabas mo para doon sa item mo. I hope nalinawan kayo dito kasi yan yung madalas na natatanggap ko about shipping cost or about shipping. So, I hope nakatulong sa inyo to and if so, please like this video, leave a thumbs up and if not, um, okay lang naman pero please continue to support me by subscribing to my channel, by clicking the subscribe button, and also the bell button sa tabi ng subscribe para makareceive ka ng latest notification sa lahat ng upload ko. Again guys, this is Pat Kito, and you're in Pat Kito's Review TV. Bye-bye!